jersey numbers. A lot of time, that is the main thing you remember about a player. I don't know about you guys, but when I think about Sidney Crosby, I think about the number 87. When I think about Patrick Kane, I think about the number 88. And obviously, when I think about Wayne Gretzky, I think about the iconic number 99. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about who, in my opinion, are the best NHL player for each jersey number currently in 2019. Now, obviously, you're not going to agree with all these, but if you guys could, please make sure to go down and drop a like on the video. I don't think I've ever took this long and put this much work into one video so I really hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's jump right into it. For number one my pick is Thomas Grice and a lot of it is just based off last season. He was a huge part in why the New York Islanders surprised everyone and were such a good team. A lot of you might disagree and think it's Varlamov but I gave him an honorable mention and in my opinion the best current player wearing number one is Thomas Grice. For number two I went with Duncan Keith and while he isn't the player that he once was he's still a very solid defenseman and in my opinion is still the best player wearing number number two in the NHL. For number three, this was kind of a tough one, but my pick is Seth Jones, and a lot of people might go with John Klingberg, and I would even say you're wrong. It's just in my opinion, I think Seth Jones is the better overall player, and Keith Yandel also wears number three, three very good defensemen, all wearing the number three. Wearing number four, we also have three very solid defensemen, but my pick as the current best is Ryan Ellis, but I would not be surprised if I remade this video in one or two more years and Miro Heiskanen takes that spot from Ellis. Best current NHL player wearing number five is easily Mark Giordano, just had an amazing season coming off a Norris Trophy, the dude is still a beast, he seems to be getting better with age, also an honorable mention to Aaron Ekblad, but 100% the best player is Mark Giordano. For number six, this one was kind of hard because I wanted to go with Brock Besser, but he is still very young and I think as of right now Shea Weber is probably still a better player so that's kind of why I gave him the edge but another one that in one to two years this would definitely be different. Wearing number seven in my opinion the best player is already Brady Kachuk and yes while he is just coming off a rookie season I think he is right now the better overall player than Jordan Eberle especially since Eberle kind of had a down year while Brady Kachuk really exceeded in Ottawa. There are a lot of good NHL players currently wearing number eight but in my opinion there is only one right answer and that is the great eight Alex Alexander Ovechkin, one of, if not the greatest goal scorers to ever lace up the skates, and he's still a beast and still going strong coming off another 50 goal season. Like number 8, there is a lot of very good players wearing number 9, but in my opinion the best current player is still Taylor Hall, an MVP in the 2017-18 season. He was injured last year but still put up good numbers when he was on the ice, and in my opinion he's one of the best wingers in the game today. Wearing number 10, the best current player is Braden Shen of the St. Louis Blues. There isn't as much star power wearing number 10 as other numbers like 9 and 8, but Braden Shen is still a very solid player and also an honorable mention to JT Miller. Wearing number 11, this one was kind of tough. My pick was Andre Kopitar, but I would not be surprised if a lot of you guys think it is Jonathan Huberdeau since he just had an amazing 90 plus point season, but if I had to pick one of these two players to have on my team right now, if I had to desperately win one game, it would definitely be Andre Kopitar. Wearing number 12, we have a young player, but he is amazing and already one of the best wingers in the game, and that is Alex Dabrinkit coming off a 40 goal season and I really just think the sky is the limit for him and in my opinion right now he is better than the likes of Eric Stahl, Josh Bailey, and Kevin Hayes. Wearing number 13, the best player is obviously Pavel Dats. I'm just joking. That's just a Red Wings fan coming out of me. It's Johnny Goudreau. There is some other talented players like Matt Barzell, like Max Domi, and Cam Atkinson, but I don't really think anyone should disagree that the best current player is Johnny Goudreau. Now for my first controversial pick that I think a lot of you will disagree with and that is Sean Couturier for number 14 and I'm sure a lot of you expected it to be Jamie Benn, but in my opinion, right now, the better player is Sean Couturier. I think he's one of the more underrated centermen in the league, and that is why I picked him at number 14. Best current player wearing 15, no surprise here, it's Ryan Getzlaff. There wasn't too much to choose from, but there is an honorable mention for rookie Jesperi Kokkinemi, who in a few years definitely could take over as the best player wearing 15, but for right now, it's definitely Ryan Getzlaff. For number 16, this is another one I feel like a lot of people might disagree with. My pick is Alexander Barkov, but I do not blame any of you if you do think Mitch Marner is the better player, but if I had to start a franchise right now, and if I had to win a game right now, I think both of those choices for me would be Barkov, just because his all-around game is so amazing. Best current player in the NHL wearing number 17 is Jaden Schwartz. There is some other talented guys like Strom, Simmons, and Alex Galchenyuk, but I don't really think anyone should have a problem with my pick being Schwartz. Wearing number 18, the best current player in the NHL, even though he is still young, it is Pierre-Luc Dubois. There is other solid players like Ryan Dezingle and like Andre Palat, but I don't really think anyone should be in disagreement when picking Pierre-Luc Dubois for number 18. For number 19, this one was very tough, and I wouldn't be surprised if people disagree with this one as well. My pick for the 
the best player though is still Jonathan Taze, while it was very close between him and Nick Backstrom, but in a couple years, I think Matt Kachuk will overtake both of those guys for the best player. Wearing number 20, the best current player is Sebastian Aho, a young player, but he took a superstar leap this past season and showed he can be a number one guy on a playoff team and lead them deep into the playoffs. There was some other good options like Ryan Suter, Chris Kreider, and Brendan Saad, but in my opinion, the clear cut guy is Sebastian Aho. There's a lot of talent currently wearing number 21, but the best player has to be Braden Point, another young player that took a superstar leap this past season, and the sky's the limit for him, and I think he can really be one of the best offensive players in the league. Wearing number 22, there wasn't as many options as some of the other numbers, but the best player has to be Brett Pesce, a really underrated defenseman and a big part of why Carolina has such a strong decor. For number 23, this one was kind of tough for me, but in the end, my pick is Sean Monaghan, but I wouldn't even disagree with anyone if they decided to go with Oliver ekman Larson. Sam Reinhardt also wears number 23 and he had a breakout season, but my pick is Sean Monaghan. Best current player wearing number 24 is defenseman Matt Dumba. He was on pace to have a ridiculous season if he had not gone and injured. I hope he can stay healthy next year because I think he can really develop into an amazing defenseman. During number 25, the best player is James Van Riemsdyk, but I won't even disagree if a lot of you pick Jacob Markstrom because he had an amazing season and was kind of underrated as the goaltender for the Canucks. Wearing number 26, the best current player has to be Blake Wheeler. The dude has been a monster the past two seasons, putting up 90 plus points. He seems to just be getting better with age. There is some other talented defensemen, but you gotta go with Blake Wheeler. There are some pretty talented guys currently wearing number 27 but my pick is newly crowned Stanley Cup champion Alex Petrangelo. Nikolai Ehlers and McDonough would both be viable options as well, but in my opinion, I had to go with Alex Petrangelo. For number 28, a very easy pick. It has to be Claude Giroux. Lindholm and Timo Meyer are both some very talented young guys, but the best player right now is most definitely Claude Giroux of the Flyers. Another number just filled with talent is number 29. My pick, Nathan McKinnon, but there's also guys like Leon Dreisaitl, Patrick Laine, and Marc-Andre Fleury, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people think dry settles better just because of his point totals from last year but in my opinion right now the better overall player has to be nathan mckinnon now getting into some goalie numbers we have number 30 and my pick is vesna candidate ben bishop he was amazing this past season and the biggest reason why dallas was able to get into the playoffs and have a decent little run when they got there very number 31 another goalie number my pick was carrie price but there is also frederick anderson who is amazing for the toronto maple leafs and martin jones of the sharks and i honestly wouldn't even disagree Agree if you picked either of those guys, but in my opinion, when healthy, Carey Price is one of the best goalies in the league. Wearing number 32, my pick for the best player is Jonathan Quick. He had a bad year, but so did the entire LA team, and I think if he's healthy and if LA can get back to being relatively solid, he's still a top goaltender in the league. Wearing number 33, my pick for the best player is Victor Arvidsson. There is some other decent options like Dustin Bufflin and Zidane Chara, but Arvidsson, when healthy, was a monster last season, and that is why I had to go with him. Number 33, no surprise here it's got to be Austin Matthews and there isn't even really any competition. Number 35, the best player is still Pecorine. Even though he is probably on the decline, he's still a very solid option and definitely better than Howard and Kemper. Number 36, a very easy pick. One of the best goalies in the league, John Gibson. If he was a goalie for a very good team, he would probably be a Vesna candidate year in and year out. For number 37, no surprise here, it's got to be Patrice Bergeron. A huge part in why Boston has been so good for so long and it seems like Bergeron is just aging like fine wine and is only getting better. Number 38, not really a popular number in the NHL, but the best current player is Boone Jenner. Wearing number 39, the best current player has to be Logan Couture. There is some other talented guys like Anthony Mantha, but 100% right now, Logan Couture is still the better player. Starting off a streak of a couple Bruins in a row, we have Tuka Rask for number 40. I know a lot of people's pick will be Elias Pettersson, but after one season, I can't justify putting him ahead of Rask just yet. For number 41, another Bruins goaltender, and that is Yaroslav Halak. He had an amazing season in the tandem with Tuka Rask, and I think they just make each other better, and in my opinion, he's definitely the best 41 currently. Number 42, the third Bruin in a row, this is David Backus. There wasn't really much other competition. Alex Texier, Trevor Moore, two good young players who will most likely pass Backus, but right now, Backus is still the best player at 42. Number 43, my pick is Tom Wilson. Quinn Hughes is definitely going to pass him probably after one NHL season, but right now, I had to give it to Wilson. For number 44, another easy pick, it is Morgan Riley. Some other pretty talented defensemen wear number 44, but especially after this past season, Morgan Riley is the clear-cut number one. Number 45, not too many options here, so the best player has to be Sammy Vatnin. Number 46, two really good options, Jared Spurgeon and David Krejci, but my pick was Krejci, but I would not be surprised if a lot of you guys think it should be Spurgeon. 
For number 47, we have another Boston Bruin, and my pick has to be Tori Krug. Alex Radulov and Hampus Lindholm are both very solid players, but Krug is a beast of an offensive defenseman, and I think he's better than those two. Best player wearing number 48 is Thomas Hurdle, and it's not even close. Number 49, another not so popular number, but an easy pick in Samuel Gerard. Shout out to him for that seven year contract extension he just got today. Next up, we have number 50, and the obvious pick is Jordan Bennington. Corey Crawford has obviously had the better career, but the better goaltender right now is Bennington. Number 51, we have free agent Jake Gardner. I know I have the Leafs logo there, but that's just because that's the last team he played for, but he's most definitely the best player to wear 51 right now. Number 52, not too many options at all, and my pick is Mac Weger, but I wouldn't be surprised if people think it's Sean Corrali too. For number 53, this was a tough pick, but I eventually went with Bo Horvat. Jeff Skinner and Ghost are very good as well, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people think it's Skinner just because of his 40 goal season, but in my opinion, the better overall player right now is Bo Horvat. Number 54, the best current player is Adam McQuaid. Yeah, not too much to say on this one. Number 55, a lot of talented players wear this number, but the easy pick has to be Mark Scheifele, one of the more underrated centermen in the league in my opinion. Number 56, not a very popular number, but the best player, especially just after this past season, has to be Eric Gustafson. I mean, a 60 point defenseman, this dude had a sick year. Number 57, we have newly acquired Tyler Myers of the Vancouver Canucks, and there wasn't really too much competition. Number 58, not a very popular number at all, but the very easy pick is Chris Letang. Number 59, another very very easy pick and that is Roman Yossi. Even though Jake Gensel was a 40 goal scorer this past season, Yossi is one of the best defenders in the entire game. The best player wearing 60 is Marcus Granlund. Yeah, you can tell how little players wear this number. Number 61, this one was super easy. It's obviously Mark Stone and there's no competition. For number 62, my pick is Kevin LeBanc. Just had a breakout season. Dude is obviously super underpaid. Brandon Montour is a solid defenseman, but my pick easily has to be Kevin LeBanc. For number 63, it's gotta be Brad Marchand. Dadunov is a solid player and Jesper Bratt is a good young and up and coming guy, but I really don't think any of these guys can touch Brad Marchand just yet. Yet. Number 64, no competition here, it's gotta be Mikael Grayland. Best player wearing number 65, we have Eric Carlson, a Hall of Famer and still to this day one of the best defenders in the entire league. Number 66, we have the first vacant number of the entire video. For number 67, I think Pacioretty is probably still the better player right now than Ricard Raquel, but it will be a completely different story probably in one or two more years. Number 68, we have Mike Hoffman and there really isn't any competition at all. Number 69, another vacant number, I still wish a guy like Reeves or Tom Wilson would just put this on. For number 70, a very easy pick, and that is goaltender Braden Holpe, one of the best in the game, and Tanner Pearson really doesn't come close to being on the level of Holpe at all. A lot of talented players wearing number 71, but the clear-cut number one is Evgeny Malkin with some honorable mentions to Dylan Larkin and William Carlson. Number 72, arguably the best goaltender in the NHL, Sergei Bobrovsky, Athanasiu, and Shabbat, two really solid young players wear the number as well, but the hands-down number one is Bobrovsky. Number 73, yet another Boston Bruin a very easy pick it has to be Charlie McAvoy. Number 74 some pretty solid guys wear this number but the number one has to be John Carlson with honorable mentions to Jacob Slavin who's fantastic and Jake DeBrusque who's a young and up-and-coming scorer. Number 75 we have Ryan Reeves but after Boucher plays a season he's most definitely going to take over the best player at 75. Number 76 the number one has to be PK Subban. While Brady Shea is still a solid young defenseman he kind of struggled his past two seasons and certainly isn't on the level of Subban just yet. Number 77, we have arguably the best defender in the league, Victor Hedman. There is some other solid players like Oshie, Josh Anderson, Jeff Carter, and Oscar Clefbaum, but none of these guys come close to being as good as Victor Hedman. Best player at 78 is Philip Schlappick. Yeah, number 78 didn't have many options. For number 79, I have Carter Hart, and while he hasn't even played a full regular NHL season, I still think he has to be the pick over Michael Furland. Number 80, the only person wearing it, and that is Edward Pasquelli, a goaltender, a minor league for the Tampa Bay Lightning. For number 81, the pick has to be Phil Kessel, but I would not be surprised if in a couple years, Kyle Connor takes over that spot as the best number 81 in the NHL. For number 82, it was kind of slim pickings, so I went with Mason Appleton, but you could say Trent Frederick or Caleb Jones, I honestly don't even care. For number 83, my pick is Trevor Daly. Matt Nieto and Sammy Niku also wear the number, and I wouldn't be surprised if by season's end, Sammy Niku is the best 83 in the NHL. For number 84, only two guys in the league wear it, and that is Alex Fortin and Jake Chelios, and I think just because Fortin actually played a bit in the NHL, he's got to be the better player. For number 85, another number that only two players wear, and the best players Matthew Perot, but once Vitaly Abramov gets into the league, he's probably going to take this spot over. 
For number 86, the easy pick is Nikita Kucherov, Hart Trophy and Art Ross winner from this past season, arguably the best player in the league this past year. Tevo Teravainen still a solid young player, but Nikita Kucherov is the clear cut number one guy. Number 87, no questions asked here, the only one in the game to wear it, one of the greatest of all time, Sidney Crosby. Number 88, we have another easy pick, even though there's so many talented guys wearing it, I had to go with Patrick Kane, I still think he's the best winger in the entire NHL, while Brent Burns, Vas Vasilevsky and Pashanak are all superstars in their own right. I still have to go with Patty Kane. Number 89, from the Golden Knights, I went with Alex Tuck. Pavel Buchnevich, a solid young player as well, but Tuck has kind of broken out before Buchnevich, and that's why I have him as the best 89 in the league. Number 90, Stanley Cup champion Ryan O'Reilly. While Thomas Tatar and Johansson are some solid players, Ryan O'Reilly is just on another level from those guys. Number 91, this one was very tough. Steven Stamkos, John Tavares, and Tyler Sagan all wear the number, and I would not blame anybody if you think Tavares is a better player than Steven Stamkos. Personally, my pick is Stamkos, but like I said, I don't blame you for whatever your pick is. Number 92, another pretty tough one, Gabe Landeskog, Kuznetsov, Johansson, Duren all wear 92. My pick was Kuznetsov. I will say Landeskog probably had a better year, but if I had to pick a player right now to have on my team to try to win one game, I think I would go with Kuznetsov. Number 93, some talented players wear it, but I think the best player is still Jacob Voracek, but it won't be the case in a couple years because then it will either be Zabinijad or Nugent Hopkins. Number 94, another vacant number currently in the league. Number 95 easily has to be Matt Duchesne. Henrik Borgström, a solid young player, but not even close to the level of Matt Duchesne yet. For number 96, only one player wearing it today, and that is Miko Rantanen, and the dude is a beast, one of the best young players in the game. Number 97, another one occupied by just one player, and that is arguably the best player in the entire NHL, Connor McDavid, so obviously he's the best player wearing 97. For number 98, there are two players wearing it, and that is Mikhail Sergachev and Jesse Pugliarvi, and obviously Sergachev is the better of the two. Now finally, finishing off the video with number 99, obviously vacant because it belongs to the greatest player of all time, Wayne Gretzky. So that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said at the start, this is the longest I've ever worked on one video. It took me all last night and all today. That's why it's kind of a later upload, so I apologize for that. My goal is to keep it under 20 minutes, and I did that. And like I said, if you disagree with any of my picks, just let me know down in the comment section below. And with all that being said, make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content, and I will see you guys all in the next video.